how to get all day energy. If you're an entrepreneur, you work a lot, you work hard, and you've noticed that either early or late afternoon, you have that like energy crash, either after lunch or, you know, sometime after lunch, you feel like, well, your energy was like really high. And then all of a sudden you're like, ah, falling asleep. And if you look, want to have something opposite of that, you would like to actually wake up, you know, bursting of energy in the morning, ready to conquer the world and have sustained energy throughout the day. In this video, we're going to find out exactly how to do that. But before we go there, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below because on this channel, you're going to learn how to build a seven figure body, strong, healthy, sexy, high performing seven figure body without starvation, cardio or giving up carbs. What's up, everybody? This is Coach Amir from sevenfigurebody.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to have all day energy. One of the most uh, most common questions I, I get asked all the time is, hey, coach, how do I get more energy? How do I have at least, you know, continuous energy throughout the day without the, you know, the dreaded, oh, I have the, you know, the early to late afternoon crash where people are feeling like they need to take a nap or they need to fall asleep when they actually need to be either working or doing something else that they uh, enjoy or actually need to get done. So in this video, I'm going to give you the three simple steps that you can start using right now in order to get more energy. As an entrepreneur, you are probably aware that everything in life worthwhile really is long term. So the longer term perspective you have, the more likely you are to achieve anything you want to achieve. So because of that, out of the three things that uh, I'm going to, the three action steps I'm going to give you today, the first one is the long term one. And long term meaning a couple of months, I'm not saying 15 years from now, and that is basically losing body fat and getting in the normal fat percentage ranges because the number one thing that takes away energy from you is being overweight. And yes, I know you're going to be like, oh, duh, what kind of, you know, conclusion is that? But truly, people don't think about this. They're like, oh, you know, maybe it's the this, you know, I'm not, you know, drinking enough water. Maybe I'm lacking vitamins, maybe this or that. And we're going to talk about that in a, in a minute. Any of these things could be happening and they could be potentially negatively impacting the levels of energy you have. However, the biggest one is being overweight, meaning having too much body fat on you. So your fat percentage is too high. And I've said this a million times, anywhere between 11 to 14, 15 for men, that's the ideal fat percentage. And about, you know, 20 to 25 for women, that's the ideal fat percentage for women. Uh, so most people are way over that. We're way overweight. As you know, 80% of adults are overweight, 40%, close to 40% are obese. So basically almost everybody has way more fat than we think we do. And why is actually being overweight taking away energy from you? So think of this. We know that roughly one pound of extra body fat that you store in your body is creating a mile, an extra mile of blood vessels in your body in order to provide nutrients to it, which again, takes more stress and puts more stress on your heart. So your heart has to pump out more. So basically, I remember this when I was a fat kid and I've heard it from you know clients since then, probably hundreds of times, which is, People feel like there's a, you know, there's my body. There's like the normal body that I have. And then when I'm overweight, I feel like there's this like fat suit that of oh, 50 pounds, 30, 100, however many pounds extra we have that like there's this fat suit that I just kind of put on over my regular body. And then you're just carrying all that extra weight. Your heart is ha having to pump more in order to bring, you know, uh, circulation to bring the nutrients to all of these cells and all of the fat cells and all the other cells. And because of that, it's putting more strain on your body and taking energy that you could be otherwise using for something you actually like and enjoy. So you would feel lighter, you would feel just more energy and more con um, uh, continuous energy throughout the day. So this is, and I always say long term, long term meaning, you know, like an average person in my uh, coaching program gets transformed completely in between three to five months. Now, of course, if somebody is, let's say, very, very, very overweight or in the obese level, it may take, you know, a few months more than that. But generally speaking, between three and five months, vast majority of my clients get completely transformed. And this is what I mean by, you know, long term. In this case, long term is only a couple of months. Uh, and then you get in shape and then you stay in shape for the rest of your life. Okay. But what I mean by, you know, shorter term, which is the other two. So let's talk about the second thing. It is the food that you eat. Okay. So what kind of food actually gives you energy versus what kind of food takes away energy from you? 
So remember, of course, all the junk food and processed food and things that are not really uh, pull check used to be. This is a guy that, you know, probably, I don't know, like 20 plus years ago when nobody even knew what organic food was. This is a, an actual fitness and nutrition expert. He's now, I don't even know what he's doing these days, but uh, he's like, he used to be this like holistic, you know, talking about organic food before, no, you know, anybody even knew what it is. So he had this good saying that I really like, which is, you know, eat food that is alive because that's going to give you energy in life, such as actual vegetables, fresh vegetables and fruit. And of course, you know, uh, protein, you can't eat that raw, nor you shouldn't, nor should you. But mainly speaking about, you know, eating more vegetables and fruit because they are like alive, fresh, life giving food versus if you, you know, eat something like a, you know, imagine a French fries, right? what is alive there <laughs> like so we took potato you know and then you know peeled it and then burned it in like really really high temperature oil and then we eat that how's that supposed to give us energy it's actually going to take away energy from you in order to digest it it just feels horrible on the body the body's like oh my god like this is terrible to digest it makes me feel sick that's what basically terrible food does and of course you know, there's a lot of sodas and all of the sugars and sugary drinks that people are drinking all the time. That is, of course, going to, you know, end up in, okay, you drink soda or, you know, have a lot of sweets or some kind of, you know, simple sugars and too much sugar. Your blood sugar goes high up, insulin comes in, cleans it up, gets it down. And then you constantly have these ups and downs. This actually makes you hungry. And along the way, it also takes away energy from you. So what should you be eating? You should be eating a first protein-based meal. Every meal you ever eat from today until the rest of your life should start with protein. How much protein should you eat? Anywhere between four to six ounces if you're a, if you are a woman, anywhere between five and eight ounces if you're a man, depending on how much you weigh, right? So 200 plus pound man should probably have an, close to eight ounce of protein, which would be about 50 grams, 40 to 50 grams of protein in each meal, like official meal. And then for women, it's about, yeah, let's say 25 to 30 grams of protein per each meal, which is about four to six ounces of chicken breast, some kind of meat, fish, whatever protein source you're using. So that would be the second thing. So the first thing, losing body fat and getting into the normal fat percentage range, that's the first thing. Number two is what you eat. And then number three is proper recovery. And this does not just mean sleep. And of course, sleep is a major component of that. Sleep is one of the most neglected part of all of health and fitness truly life-changing uh, effects if you fix your sleep. There's a, a phenomenal book that I highly recommend called Why We Sleep. Forgot the author's name, but there's a bunch of books on sleep. You can just listen to a podcast of that same guy. It is phenomenal. And any athlete knows that if you think about what do professional athletes actually do, what do they do? They basically just train hard, sleep, right? Eat, train hard, sleep, eat, and that's it. Like, <laughs> and that's basically like you are you know, incentivizing the muscles in the body to grow and get fitter and stronger, and then you recover by sleeping and eating and dehydrating, right? And so that's basically, you know, the cycle of that, the athlete who has the optimal cycle of this and all the other factors, you know, ideally combined, that's the athlete that usually wins because it's the fittest, fastest, strongest, whatever the sport may be. So that would be the third thing, recovery. And of course, sleep is the number one thing there, but also on the other hand, there is you know, mental, uh, mental recovery, which can be, you know, this could be meditation, this could be walking in the nature, this could be something that gen generally makes you feel good and makes you feel relaxed. So for me, that would be meditation, exercising, especially like, for example, you know, mountain biking or something like that definitely makes me feel really good. Yes. Is it, is it tiring? Yes. You get really tired, but you know, of course you're not supposed to like go there and kill yourself, right? But basically all the other things that you could do that help you recover. Some people like to take massages. I do it at least once every week as well. Uh, get a good massage, makes you feel great. Meditate every day, you know, work out. Sometimes just go for a walk either with your kid or on your own. It's also gonna make you feel good. So anything that can actually help you recover better is going to help you have more energy, obviously. It's just kind of, you know, logical thing, but a lot of people don't think about it. And one other thing that I'm gonna tell you, like the extra tip is, Please drink more water. If you are constantly dehydrated, which most people are, you won't have optimal energy levels. You won't have nearly as much energy as you could have simply because 65 plus percent of your body is water. If you're not drinking enough, how's your body gonna perform optimally and at the highest level that it could? It's not going to. So please drink more water, half of your body weight in ounces. That's how much you should have minimum every day. So if you were 200 pounds, 
have 100 ounces of water. If you're 150 pounds, have 75 ounces of water, etc. So that's it, guys. That's how to have all day energy. Simple three steps. Please use them. And let me know in the comments what you think about this. And let me know when you actually use it, what your results were. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below, like this video and share it. And also, if you click on the link below, uh, you will get, uh, just put your name and email um, uh, address and phone number below and you will get a free copy of my book digital version of this book this book is 25 dollars on amazon you get it absolutely free if you click on that you will not only get the you know full video explaining a to z three simple steps that i used so far to go from fat kid to a pro athlete three-time national champion olympic games candidate to a coach who's now transformed over 1200 clients in the last 14 years you're going to get the actual three steps that i used to get them there so it's going to be the most valuable time you will ever spend uh, in you know losing if your goal is to lose weight and get in the best shape and you get a free digital version of this book as well thank you guys for watching see you in the next video cheers